I hope you guys are doing well and yeah it's been a month since I moved over here in Dublin so I thought let's just uh, create a video about my experience in Dublin uh, and what you guys need to take care of uh, when you are coming from outside outside of Dublin let's say from outside uh, of any other county or maybe directly coming from India or anywhere else so yeah uh, this is a brief overview about the Dublin uh, what uh, I experienced or like you know the different things that you need to remember uh, when you start living over here in Dublin uh, regarding accommodation regarding if you are a student uh, or any other general things so without wasting time uh, let's get started so I will divide this video in three parts one is uh, accommodation uh, either for students or any other person second is uh, living uh, so let's say you are living over here then what uh, things you need to remember you need to take care and third part is general things okay it, and all these things are uh, applicable to students as well as any other person either coming from anywhere so let's get started uh, now first thing is accommodation in accommodation the first point is that rent obviously rent is expensive as compared to any other counties in ireland so if you are coming directly from india or anywhere else yeah you might feel uh, it's a bit expensive or if you are coming from any other county obviously you will feel the same thing so first thing is rent uh, if you are living in a city center uh, obviously rent is very high uh, for the sharing accommodation if you are like living in a one a room uh, with two people so then also your rent will go almost 500 to 600 if you are living in any other uh, area which is far from city then your rent will be cheaper for example i am living in dublin 15 which is around 14 to 15 kilometer from city center and i am paying 650 over here for this big double room and i am living alone over here and the facilities are even better than the city center apartments and the house is also new so it's different uh, if you are living in city center or if you are living outside uh, from city center uh, yeah rent will vary that's the first point that you need to remember second thing is that obviously uh, you will get pay extra for your bills uh, bills might be the electricity wi-fi gas or any other bins or anything most of the bins are included in the rent but that's the scenario about the extra things and more upon that the groceries so obviously you need to pay for your you know uh, daily groceries or anything so that you need to consider uh, so that will be around 200 euros i can say uh, and that's it about the rent or expenses for the dublin second point is uh, when you're searching for your accommodation uh, try to look for the accommodation which is near to at least one supermarket so supermarkets are like tesco lidl aldi or anything in all the supermarkets the basic items like the milk egg uh, sugar salt or this kind of basic items they are all same price but uh, some items are uh, different uh, uh, some fruits are cheaper in aldi some fruits are cheaper in lidl some vegetables are cheaper in tesco so it depends on the supermarket and you will see that particular thing once you start shopping in different supermarkets but the uh, main point is try to get the accommodation which is near to at least one supermarket either lidl aldi or tesco because uh, uh, in that scenario, if you are living near to supermarket, it will be easy to get the daily groceries uh, like you know milk or egg or sugar or anything. Uh, if it is over at your place, then you can just go over there and take it. So try to get the conversion which is near to at least one supermarket. That's the main point. Now, third point, understand transportation because in Dublin, there are Dublin bus, there are Luas. So you need to understand the transportation, how it works. Uh, before booking your accommodation, just check the transportation, whether the bus is available over there from city center or from any other place. Let's say uh, you are a student, then you need to travel from your home to your university. Then in that case, you need to check that there is a bus service available uh, in that area or not, like from your home to your university and how many bus you need to change or is there any single bus available and what is the duration for that period travel so you need to check that thing first if you are a professional uh, person who is working over here then yeah obviously you need to check the distance from your home to the your hobbies so yeah, after considering that all the scenarios you need to book the accommodation so please uh, understand the transportation uh, because the bus are different luas is different and then 
uh, once you are traveling with any of the service over here the charges are different so you need to understand that as well and the frequency of the bus service and everything so please understand the transportation over here and then book your account fourth point is that uh, check the uh, food delivery service uh, now it is not that much uh, important but yeah in some scenarios already if you want to order food from outside or in any terms you want to order a food from outside in that scenario you need to check that whether any delivery service available over here or not so for example there are various food uh, delivery apps like uh, just eat or uber eats or anything so please check that thing that whether the different restaurants or any of these uh, food application they are working over in that area or not uh, wherever you are booking your accommodation that's not an important point but still you need to check that thing as well uh, because uh, yeah there will be a lot of cases uh, where you will order food from outside uh, for in the emergency situation or let's say your friends or anything then yeah you need to uh, order a food from outside so please check that as well that's the different points that you remember when you are booking your accommodation or when you are searching for accommodation either you are coming from outside of this uh, dublin or let's say you are coming from any of the counties or let's say you're directly coming from india or anywhere else so please check check these points uh, when you are booking your accommodation now second point is leaving uh, so this uh, on this particular point i will just focus on the things uh, which you need to remember when you are leaving in dublin uh, first point is that uh, please uh, remember one thing that over here in dublin there are many different shops which will close soon uh, i can give you one example uh, so yesterday i wanted a spray paint for few things so uh, then now i know that the spray paint is available in eurogiant or uh, sometimes it is available in mr price as well so i uh, now eurogiant is not uh, near to my home so i need to travel from here to city center now all the eurogiant in city center except one uh, they all close at 6 pm now i finish my work at 5 pm so you know i need and it will take around 39 to 40 minutes to travel from here to city center you might think that it will close at 8 pm or 9 pm but no it, it's not a scenario some shops will close at 6 pm some might close at 5 pm and you need to check the shops timing for particular day let's say you're uh, on sunday then sunday it closes at 5 pm uh, in wednesday also some shops are closed at 5 pm other days they close at 6 pm so try to check the timings uh, by using the google map and you'll get this uh, idea about that all the supermarkets test colida already they mostly close at 10 pm and on sundays they might close at 9 pm so that are the scenarios now second point let's say if you want to buy some items and that are available only in tesco or you prefer the items from tesco and in that scenario you are not living near to tesco so what you will do you will you know take the bus you will go to the tesco and then you will uh by that particular thing you will do your shopping and then you will come back uh by same bus or any other bus but you will come by bus uh now what will happen in that uh, you will pay the bus charges which will be around 1.5 euros and then uh when you are returning you will again pay 1.5 euros so you will pay 3 euros now you need to carry all the items okay you need to first uh, you know list everything you need to go over there and to spend that time of travel then you need to do shopping over there uh, you need to carry everything and then you need to come back it's a big trouble actually you uh, because you need to carry everything now you let's say you are uh, taking so many things then yeah it is very difficult to carry that much item in a bus or anything because weather is also another thing which i will discuss in next point but that's the scenario so in that scenario i will uh, suggest you to use tesco delivery app now many people don't know about this thing or even if you know then also uh, please listen this particular thing carefully if you will travel from uh, one place to another it will take 1.5 euro and if you will travel back then it will again take 1.5 euro so it will take 3 euros and then uh, it you are carrying that much item so you are giving trouble to yourself instead of that use tesco delivery app use tesco delivery website Uh, just uh, list down all the things what uh, what you want and uh, just uh, you know type that particular thing and uh, do everything uh, uh, create your cart just order it online you know uh, delivery charge for tesco delivery is as cheap as uh, 3 euros so it's very easy i mean you are paying 1.5 euro and then uh, 1.5 euro to come back and you are paying 3 euros for travel and then you are giving trouble to yourself only by carrying that much item instead of that just just order online it will take 3 euros and you will get everything at your doorstep you tesco delivery guys they will come at your doorstep 
they will just give you item take it and then it's yours so it's really easy it's really easy so try to use tesco delivery app it is really really easy and whether everything you don't need to worry about that because yeah they are delivering so they will deliver in any of the conditions so that's why yeah, use tesco delivery it's very very important thing and it's very useful thing so yeah that's that was the another point you might think it is not important but yeah it's very very important if you are living in dublin now third point uh check the net network coverage uh so when you are booking your accommodation or let's say you are living at particular place uh check network coverage uh in all the websites all the comp all the network providers website they have this uh, coverage map uh, over there you can check the 3g coverage you can check 4g coverage you can check 5g coverage so uh, in your area what is the coverage uh, frequency like let's say for 3g for 4g for 5g because in some areas uh, there are some networks that are not useful they are not good over there so in my area for example uh, leica is not giving good network and even the uh, vodafone is not giving good network but in my area virgin media and eir is giving a proper network so even eir is giving 5g network with full, with full frequency in my area uh, which i am using as of now so yeah that's the scenario you need to check the network then you can decide which sim card you want okay so i mean this is also again a very small point but yeah uh, these are the points that you need to remember when you are booking your accommodation when you are moving from outside to dublin so please check the network coverage before you know booking the accommodation or before coming over here and then decide your network provider now fourth point very silly point or very very small point uh, which is weather app okay so when i was living in cork weather app was not that much useful because yeah i mean I, let's say for example it is showing that it will not rain for one hour but it might rain and sometimes and many times it happened that uh, you plan something for a particular time after seeing the weather and then it just changed but uh, i just moved to dublin uh, and it's been a month i'm using the weather app and this proper over here so let's say for example uh, i can give you an example of yesterday only it was raining like hell and then i checked the weather on my application and it was showing that uh, uh, weather will be good it will be sunny after 5 pm and suddenly it became like you know sunny uh, at the 430 or 445 and then i went to citizen so weather application is working properly over here according to my experience but yeah i mean that's that's what i observed after coming to dublin so again it's not a big point but i thought let's mention this point as well now third big point that is general uh, general scenario uh, you need to consider when you start living over here in dublin it is mostly for student so if you are working person or anything you can just skip the video but for students first thing is that uh, try to use the different application which are for students uh, first is a uh, card uh, lip card is not an application but yeah, i mean yeah lip card is a service so you can your know, lip card is actually for both uh, for the uh, you know working professional over everyone and other lip cards are for students so try to use the student lip card because you will get a discount when you travel and even with the, that particular lip card you can dis get discount in various different shops for example mcdonald's in mcdonald's also you get a uh, student discount with that lip card so try to use the lip card that is the first very important point and lip cards are very easy to get uh, in any any of the universities you they have a lip card store and you can get easily now second point uh, once you register with your university you get your register email id with that email id you can register on amazon uh, now amazon.co.uk and in amazon uk uh, you will get a prime membership for six months i mentioned this particular thing in various videos but yeah again i'm mentioning so because uh, you know once you start living over here in dublin you need various stuff which are like the small stuff and you even don't know where to get that thing so instead of that try using amazon and yeah you'll get six months of uh, prime membership for free and in dublin the prime membership is very very important because uh, you know the delivery service is very fast over here in dublin compared to cork in cork uh yeah you will get a free delivery but the delivery uh timing is same uh, as a normal delivery service uh, without prime but in uh, dublin is very fast and obviously it's free and that prime membership you are getting for six months and it's free so just register with your uh university email id and you'll get that particular thing and uh, last point uh which is uh, a one application called unidays uh, so for example uh if you're a student and then you can register yourself with the unidays with your registered email id and then you can mention over that dates from your 
from start of the course and end of the course so just mention that particular date and uh for that date uh unit is uh like you know will be available for you so in that application you get a lot of discount a lot of discount to be honest i used that particular thing a various time and i got a, a like you know plenty of discounts so to start using unidays uh, if you're a student uh, because you know, if you want to buy some shoes or anything from adidas nike from jd sports then you'll get a, a lot of discounts over there if you want to buy some sweatshirt or anything from different stores then just check the unidays just by searching that particular store and you might get a lot of discount for example yeah, sometimes in jd sports you get 50 percent discount course over there and that code is available for you only so i mean yeah it's really beneficial and that course are always working and yeah i mean 50 percent discount is very very good deal uh let's say for example if you're buying a shoes and it is 40 euros you'll get in 20 euros which is a great deal so start using unities and it will save a lot of money for you whenever you want to buy some some things so uh, these are the different points that i observed after coming to dublin or any anywhere but uh, yeah uh, in last month i was just planning this particular video so some points are uh, useful for students some useful for uh, uh, working professional anyone uh, and some points are useful for both so now you just decide and start using these services or start observing this thing and yeah hopefully you'll get benefit of that so yeah uh that is what i wanted to call in this particular video uh, i hope you like this particular video i hope you like this particular information if you have any questions or queries you can put that particular in the comment section down below i will answer over there or again you can connect me on any of the social media i will answer over there as well and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care stay safe bye bye